Hello, comrades. Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. Uh, in the last episode, we were very, 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 very productive. We did a heck of a lot of stuff, all relating to the establishment of a potato grad steel mill. Uh, in fact, we've got the steel mill in place. Uh, it just needs to be built. It's going to cost a ridiculous amount of money, but that's okay. I'm not worried about that. That's that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with that. We'll deal with that in due course. Uh, what I also uh, did in the last episode uh, is Suti Tuti Town. We got Suti Tuti Town up and running. It's it's looking it's looking pretty good actually. It's looking it's looking not too bad at all. What we need to do now is uh, is we need to get iron. We need to get iron for the steel mill. Now, I've looked out somewhere. Where is it? It's very far away. Yeah, it's right over here. Ironopolis, uh, I've set aside uh, as the area where we are going to start with, start with, start with producing iron. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant to say. Uh, it's probably the best area, really, that we can conceivably, conceivably get. Uh, also... It's quite close to a major population center over here. So the thought process is, hey, let's let's use that to supply let's use that to supply all of our all of our iron production from the nearby town. Okay, anyway, I'm just wittering now. Uh, let's get this flattened and let's get uh, let's get the iron mine placed. Beautiful. Uh, we are going to try as much as possible to replicate what we did over here uh, in, in Suti Tuti Town in the in the hope that we're going to be able to to have a similar setup because it seems to be working it seems to be working pretty darn well. Okay, uh, let's have a think about what we want to get. We want to get a we want to get a conveyor. We want to get this an engine transfer right over here. Yep, that goes right there, and then we'll get two large aggregate storages, one which will sit quite comfortably over here. There we go. And then the other, which will sit also relatively comfortably over here. Hopefully we're not going to be completely out of rubles by the time this entire exercise is finished. Okay, that's aggregate loading. Hold on, did I build aggregate loading over here, or was it aggregate unloading? No, that's aggregate loading. I'm 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 correct. All right, great. Uh, okay, so train aggregate loading. That's what we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for it to be right about here. Yep, place that in there. Let's get the conveyors all linked up. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Building is in the way. What about that? That looks good to me. And that also looks good to me. Okay. So that's the... That's Sudi 2D Town basically done. Uh, we can still get some roads if we want to. I don't think we're going to be able to fit any roads through there. However, that doesn't particularly matter because the only road that really actually matters is the road from Lol Lolona Lolona to to Ironopolis. Okay. So without further ado, let's just try and let's try and get it let's try and get it laid as swiftly as possible. Honestly the the flatter the the flatter the road the better. Okay, 21,000 to, to lay that road. That's that's fine. Too big a descent downhill. No worries. There we go. Just like that. Just like that. We've got that zoned. We've got that ready to go. It's going to connect up directly to the, uh, to the iron mine right over here. We're going to get a bus platform. Just a small bus platform. I uh, imagine will be fine. Bus platform can go right over there. Annoyingly, it's right on top of a, a rock formation, so it's going to take a little while to to build, but it's fine too. And we'll get a path in there as well, just for good measure. Perfect. Okay. Uh, now, I don't know what the population of this town is, but it must be larger than the last town that we were working with uh, over here. Yes. 
Vau, 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 skask, skask. Yep, that's the one. Anyway, uh, it must be larger than that because it's got some some proper houses. So I'm gonna get a bus platform. I'm gonna get a bus platform. The bus platform needs to be ideally within walking distance of everywhere. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible over here though. Okay, let's see if we can put that there. See if we can fit a path right through the center there. Great. In fact, that might just be might just be good enough. But we'll put another path. We'll put another path in there, just on the off chance that that makes a difference. We've already got a walkway through there. Um, I mean, yes, yeah, so it's not going to fit those houses in, but it's the majority of the it's the majority of the the town. Maybe I'll get another little bus platform just over here. Yeah, I'll get another little bus platform over there to pick up the, the stragglers, if you'd like. Okay. Yeah, so you can get to that house over there. You can get to that house there, basically. You can't get over there. Okay, so we're going to need to get a path to take the extra stragglers. Can we get through there? No, building is in the way. Oh, no. That works perfectly. There we go. So that will definitely allow for absolutely everyone to reach the uh, to reach the bus stop. Cool. Next thing's next. Let's get a road vehicles depot. We'll just put that on the outskirts of town, I guess. Uh, hook that up. Ready to rock and roll. And we can set up a bus route as soon as we've got that bus platform up and running. Now, uh, I didn't... I didn't... I didn't press play at the end of the last episode with the expectation that we would be able to place all of this and make it all work in this episode. I'm a little bit nervous, and a little bit is a somewhat of an understatement. I'm a little bit nervous at how expensive this whole thing is going to be. I'm going to just queue up all of the stuff to happen at once so that I can only have one heart attack. Right. There we go. Train aggregate unloading. Perfect. The rails are all are all down to be built. Sure, the storage, the steel mill's all ready to go. I think we finished finished in Sudi 2D Town. Yeah, everything everything in Sudi 2D Town is actually going. In fact, it's going very, very well. Almost too well in a in a way. But that's fine. Uh, we're also gonna want to split this power off over here and take it down to this area. We're also going to want to introduce power to the locals over here, so yeah, okay. Uh, let's unpause. We're at 5.3 million rubles right now, uh, which makes me feel a little bit sick. We've already spent half of our money, and uh, what have we got to show for it? Well, we've got one train. We've got one train that I think is still probably en route. Yeah, it's one train which is en route to the border. Now that's going to be a hundred thousand rubles. It's not very much. Okay. 5.3. Let me know how much you think it's going to cost in the comments. Let's do this. Alright. Honestly, not as much as I anticipated. Although the spending hasn't actually stopped yet. And the steel mill will continue to rumble for a good long time, actually. Yeah, building is without a power supply. No power supply. In fact, there should be a power supply over here. No, no power supply over here. I'll I'll deal with that. I'll deal with that later. But that's that's fine for now, honestly. It's not a problem. Steel mill is going to cost uh cost a lot of money, and I think the iron mine also will cost a fair amount of money. Yep, that's the the other thing that's uh, that's costing us money. But that's fine. I should have zoned out the 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 railway before I uh, before I unpaused, but I didn't. That's that's on me, honestly. Okay, uh, let's have a little look at the wireframe and see where we can get a railway up here. Honestly, that's nice. Uh, okay, get that down to. Alright, I'm just spending money here for the sake of it, but... Okay. 
that kind of works. Sure, that definitely works. Uh, let's see if we can trace this back. Wireframe OP. Where is the track? The track is over here. Is there a clear way through this mess? Not really. The road is kind of a good way to do it. I think we want to go straight over the top, probably. Yeah, let's try go straight over the top. Yeah, take it up to there. Uh, this is where it gets slightly more problematic. If we could get down to the to the river, then we can just flatten that terrain. Don't auto build in rubles. Oh, apparently we're still. We're still out with the uh, construction depot's range. Are we within range now? Nope, not yet. Okay. Alright, that's not too bad. Down this way, I mean, oh, this is gonna... We had to come down the mountain somewhere. Okay. I'm gonna try doing this manually, I'm gonna try eyeballing the the height. Um, it's never really pretty, but usually it's fine. Okay, let's give that a shot. Yeah, it's not too bad actually. Yep, that's that's actually not too bad. Uh, okay, where's the track? Track is over there. We need to get down to... Down to there. Okay. Perfect. Too big a descent downhill? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Alright, I mean, I'll take it. I kind of want to... Oh, that was working, that was working. Yep, there we go. I, I want to have a separate crossing for the uh, for the Ironopolis train. Not really for any particular reason. Also, I'm going to turn off the wireframe because that is giving me a major headache. Alright, a much more refined, much more refined path this time, I think. There's no need to make an absolutely massive uh, dam in the river. Okay, wonderful. There we go. Perfect. Alright, let's see if we can try and double this track up. That's going to be the real challenge. Watch as the game magically stutters. This is what you pay for, folks. Although, no one actually pays for it. Uh, okay. Now, which... Okay, this track is going to be the... Return track. And this track is going to be the, the going... The going out track. As I have now termed it. Alright. And return there. Perfect. That's the going back track, and then that's the going... Oh, it's the back track. Okay, great. This is the coming out track, and then that's the back track. There we go. Wonderful. So, that needs to connect up there pretty easily. That's not going to work. Annoying. Let me turn on the wireframe for a second. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, this is fantastic. That is looking unbelievably impressive. Yep, very, very happy with this. Let's get a chain signal in place. Uh, that's a job well done, honestly. Hopefully we've got enough money left to buy some vehicles and some locomotives. 
If not, you're going to be a little bit annoyed. But that's fine. All right. Good stuff. All right. Let's see this all get built. Perfect. That's still being built. That's fine. All right. Honestly, that's that's fantastic. It's a very, very ugly train line. But it does actually look like it's working properly. Or it will work properly. Perfect. Is the steel mill being built yet? Not yet, no. Uh, we should probably take this opportunity to introduce a coal train. So that we can have uh, a bunch of coal ready to be processed as soon as the steel mill has been built. So, most expensive train... This bad boy here. It's got to be diesel, of course. Uh, so, not that one. 93,000? Sure. Buy that. Uh, I'm going to need to buy another train as well for the iron. We might as well uh, preemptively... Preemptively buy that. Okay, boxcar, open car. I think it's hopper car. Yeah, hopper car is what we need for transporting coal. And also iron, so... Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that's fantastic. All right. Let's go and set up this. Sure. Load 100% of anything. Yes. Wait until loaded. Yes, please. Because, of course, we've got a, a, limited, a limited stash here. We've got a limited stash of fuel. Okay. Then I would like you to go here. Unload 100% of anything. And then go there. No. No, delete that. And then go there. Load 100% of anything. Yep. And then head back off round to Suti Tuti Town. Aggregate. Aggregate loading. Then uh, then off to... Then off to Rafinovsky train aggregate unloading. Okay, great. Let's get you started. Perfect. Let's have a little... Let's have a little look at this thing. Oh my goodness. This this actually feels like we've got a real system in place. What what kind of scares me, uh, the word kind of uh, doesn't really represent how scared I actually am. What I mean to say is that I'm absolutely terrified that we've got less than 4 million rubles left in the bank. And it seems that we've done so little. But that is a that is a gorgeous gorgeous train. How wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Okay. Uh, we can't spend all day ogling at trains. We got to get to work. We got to work hard. Got to hustle. What's that? You got 320 tons of coal? It's not actually that much coal there, to be honest. All right. I think that these microbuses are pretty garbage, actually. They're not really... They're not really fulfilling a role which I'm... Which I want them to fulfill. Yeah. Yeah, they just... They're not really... Not really doing what I want them to do. Yeah, not really doing what I want them to do at all. But that's that's okay. Uh, also, power. We need to get power sorted. Let's, uh, let's get the wire broken here, I guess. Let's get a high voltage switch in place. Also, we need to get some fire stations. I'm quite conscious of the fact that we have got absolutely zero at the moment. It's quite embarrassing, actually. Okay. Uh, take it over to, like, a field over here. Then get a power transformer. Power transformer goes in right there. Connects up. And go medium voltage. Substation. Substation needs to go right about there. By the way, our power our power expenses are about to shoot up. They're about to shoot up because we're about to start using uh we're about to start using steel. Uh, we're about to start making steel even is the is the term that I wanted to deploy there. Alright, that goes there. Perfect. I mean it's not perfect, it doesn't cover the entire town, but it's pretty close. 
There we go. Perfect. As I say, it's not perfect, but it's it's as close as perfect can get without being called Orbital Potato. Hey! Hey! Uh, there you go. It's, <laughs> yikes. Okay. Got a power supply over here. Grand. Got a power supply over here. Grand. Now we just need to get a, 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 a bus. Oh my goodness. Uh, a couple of buses up and running. Let's get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to have two running from this station here. Picking up only workers and unloading at this bus station over there. Get in, unload, whatever. Yeah, fine. Okay, great. And let's copy your schedule and put it on that one, I guess. Sure. Start both of these off. Right. Okay. And then you can go from here over to here. And you're going to do the whole unloady loady thing again. Except from the other bus stop. All right. Okay, so it's a six to it's a six to two ratio. Is that the right ratio for us? I I don't actually know. First stop is unreachable. Is it? Oh yeah, it doesn't actually have a doesn't actually have a road connection. It's on me. That's on me. Crossing is not allowed. All right. There you go. go. First stop is now definitely reachable. Alright, I missed one bus there. Wow, I just clicked on it. Total professional here. Okay. Lots and lots of buses. It's probably somewhat of... I mean, it's definitely overkill. Who am I, who am I kidding? It's, it's definitely overkill. Alright. These citizens now have power. Ten workers without a job. I mean, you won't have, you won't be, uh, you won't be unemployed for long. We're very close, very close to, very close to making a heck of a lot of, a heck of a lot of iron. That's what I'm interested in. Oh, look, 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 our money is going up. You can see. It looks like the train finally arrived at the border. The oil train, that is. What other train? Uh, we, we don't have any other trains. Uh, to be honest, we should probably just have a dedicated fuel transport train, because we just do not have the... We don't have the ability to transport a super large... Uh, we don't have the ability to consume a, a super large amount of fuel. Not yet, anyway. Alright, great. That's built. Okay. Okay, so the steel is now set up. We're now... We're now done. We're now ready, right? Yeah, I think we're ready. 653 tons of coal. Fantastic. Honestly, fantastic. This is great. Let me uh, skip forward to the... to the evening, or to the morning even, so that we can see what the heck's going on. There we go. Here is our first our first unload. Uh, we need to store... You need to store iron ore. And you need to store coal ore. Oh, no. I haven't processed it yet. Oh, no. This is, oh, no. Oh, no. I've just realized I haven't, I haven't processed it. I haven't had any processing happen. Um... Quick, 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 quick. Think, 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 think. Oh my goodness, I'm such an idiot. Uh, it's definitely processed iron, definitely processed coal that is required over here. Uh, okay, we need to pick another city. We need to pick another city and we need to, to get them to be the, the processors. This city over here? Yeah, okay. This city is going to be where we're going to process iron and coal. 
Okay, uh, this is this is a massive, 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 massive mess up. It's actually not. It's actually fine. Okay, go to the depot. Go to the home depot for now. Don't stop. Don't unload anything. Because I want you to store iron. This is fine. We can fix all of this. This, this is this is this is fine. Okay, you store coal. Okay, building is without power supply. Fine. It wouldn't even it wouldn't have been able to unload anyway, so that's fine. Okay. This is great. Let's go normal speed and let's let's think about how we want to sort this out. You've got your fuel. Speaking of actually, the fuel over here. How's it going? It's not been filled up once yet, presumably. Okay, irritating. Okay, we need to get it refined. We can get it refined. We'll get it refined. We'll get it refined here. This is this is this is fine. Okay. Uh, we want to get coal and iron ref uh, refined over here. The reason that we want to do that is because neither takes many employees, if I can recall. So, yeah, coal, yeah, maximum number of workers, coal ore processing plant is 15. The maximum number of uh, workers at the iron ore plant is also 15. Okay, so if we're clever, which I definitely am not, uh, we can figure out a way to make this work. Okay, so it all, it's all going to start with a train aggregate unloading. A train aggregate unloading. Yeah, we can hopefully... Yeah, perfect. We're still within range. That's grand. Right. Step one. Completed. Right, step two is to unload into a large aggregate storage. Or two. Right. Large aggregate storage one. Large aggregate storage two. Okay, let's get it linked up right now just to make sure that we've placed these in the right place. That's great. Okay, that's that's step one completed. Uh, the the railway is, in a sense, easier to fix. Yeah, in fact, this is this is actually going to work out even better than I originally anticipated. Can you believe it? You heard it here first, right from the horse's mouth, right here. Okay, let's get the let's get the big old expensive buildings that we need to get into place. I mean, these are going to cost loads of money. I can't actually remember how much they cost, but it's a lot of money. Uh, but they only employ 15 people, which is which is fine with me, as far as I'm concerned. That's good. Okay, so this is going to go right here. No, not really. Sure. Do that there, I guess. Yeah, do that there. That's iron, and then this is going to be coal over here. To be honest, the the same orientation is probably fine. Right. To get that there. Now, I don't think that this is going to be a simple case of connecting up the conveyors. Yeah, building is in the way. That's okay. We'll need to get a engine transfer. Engine transfer over here as well. Great. Does that work? Building is in the way. You had to you had to do this to me, game, didn't you? Right, fine. Right. Demolish that. And delete that conveyor. Unpause for a second. Engine transfer. Back in play. There we go. And there we go. Okay. Great. So coal. Iron sorted. Happy days. Uh, now we just need to get a another aggregate, except this time it's aggregate train unloading. No, aggregate train loading as opposed to aggregate train unloading, which we had last time. Okay, so train aggregate loading. Yep, and that's going to go... Oh no, it's not actually going to go there. What we're going to need to get first is we're going to need to get a... Oh, where is it? Not there. It's here. Yep. 
large aggregate storage, which goes here. Yep. And then this one goes over here. If we can connect that up without an engine transfer, that'd be great. No, unfortunately not. Uh, that works, though, so let's cancel that and bring it further to the right. The reason is... I want to see if I can try and fit a bus stop in here somewhere. That's my plan, anyway. My my vicious, evil plan. Okay, so that goes there like that. And then an engine transfer. In fact, not an engine transfer. It's a train aggregate loading. Goes right here. Yeah. This thing is massive. That's not going to work, is it? Tell you what, it is darn close to working. Building is in the way. The angle is just slightly too steep. Okay, demolish that. Try again. Train aggregate loading. Yeah, okay. Building is in the way. That works. That works too. Okay. Now, can I get a road under here? Oh, you tease. I can get a road under here. This is what I wanted this whole time. Not only does it, in the future anyway, uh, protect us from fires. It, it looks more realistic. Okay, now. Can I get a road up here? That's the real question. Can I get a bus stop up here? A small bus stop? Oh, it would be so great if I could do it. Can't build you to infrastructure, really? Really? Okay. Oh my goodness, this this actually will work. Uh, I was so excited that I placed the wrong type of road there. <laughs> undo that, undo that, undo that. Okay, gravel road is all we need. Great. Uh, let's get some foot pads. So foot pads are going to connect up. Oh. It should be fine, right? Yeah, should be totally fine. Foot pads are going to connect up the two processing areas, which is going to work totally grand. Uh, and then all we need to do as a final gesture is connect up, is connect up this. Just like so. Too big a descent downhill? Really? Alright. Not going to worry about that then. Okay. Good. I think that that is absolutely everything that we need to possibly consider. Uh, of course, it's not everything that we absolutely possibly have to consider. It's... Uh, I mean, we have to consider train, trains and rails and stuff. Um, okay. Now. Let's have a look at the wireframe. Let's have a look at the situ. The situ is interesting over here uh, because of the, the height. Now, I wanted to see if I could try and get the train to branch off over here. Okay, let's see if we can get this to work. Yep, that looks, that looks pretty darn good. And then we can get it to go back this way and branch onto onto the main line perfect so that way the train will come from these two uh, these two routes here they will come up this up this way right around here across the the river probably demolishing the bridge unfortunately although maybe we could cross over here instead anyway uh, up to the aggregate unloading and then they can go around here into the loading wait until the train is fully loaded, and then come back round here, down here, and then into there. This works so well that it took a 
catastrophically, almost catastrophically bad mistake to make me realize how well it will actually work when it works. Okay, uh, just a little pathway across. Okay, yep. No need to faff around with uh, with a larger with a larger uh, crossing. There we go. All right, you know what? I feel like I'm actually funneling all of the traffic quite well. Okay, and this is going to branch off down here. Ooh, this this could present us with a problem uh, if the height isn't right. Okay. Yeah, it's close to it's close to being okay, but not quite. Yeah, okay. Another one of these situations where it's intensely irritating. But it's close to working. It's very, very close to working. Okay. Why is it that you always decide to create a truly mountainous region? Right. We'll do it in chunks. We'll do it in chunks. It's fine. Okay, next chunk. We're just looking for green. Nothing but net, baby. Oh, it's so close. So close. Okay. Last leg. That's it. That's how you do it. That's how you do it, folks. That is that is how you do it. Okay, so because that worked, there's a good chance that this will just work as intended. There we go. Uh, we already know the direction of travel here. Yep. Wow. You know what? I'm really excited to pass February. Um, I, I, we haven't actually... Not much time has passed since the start of this series. But that's okay, because when, when it does start passing, it's going to fly by. I'm telling you, preemptively, so that you can get excited with me. Very, very excited for some actual progress at some point. Okay. I'm not quite sure how I think about this system of, you know, waiting for the trains to... Waiting for the trains to receive their uh, their processed loads. But I think it's, you know, it's kind of unique, honestly, how it works, so... We'll give it a shot. Right. Cross the... Cross the road? No. Apparently not. You don't want to cross the road? Okay, that's fine. Too sharp an angle. Okay, now that works. Perfect. Come around here. Come around there. Great. And... This shouldn't be difficult to connect up there. Yep. And that goes in there. I feel like I've learned so much. Except that I completely forgot how one of the most important parts of the game works. Uh, but then I remembered again, and then the problem was resolved. Okay. Come around here. Come around here. Yep. And come around there. And come around there. Okay, look at that. We should probably... Probably try and ensure that this system has, like, redundancy in place for if we need, if we have, like, a backup or, uh, you know, a too much, too much coal ore being delivered and not enough coal ore being picked up. In saying that, though, I'm not really sure why that would happen because it's always going to be a one-to-one -one ratio. However, I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to try and make sure that we've got a, a bypass which can be used to uh, skip this this whole system that we've just put into place. Oh, that worked, actually. Hmm. 
There we go. Okay. Connect up there. Grant, it's going to be a one-way type of deal. I, I, as I say, I don't think that this will ever be required, but it's always, it's always good to, to plan for the future. Okay. And because of the nature of the ground around here, it should be relatively easy to, uh, to build this, to build this track. Okay. In there. And merge in there. That's not strictly necessary. We could have merged it over here, but whatever. Okay. All right. How much is this going to cost? 177,000 rubles worth of track. Well, let's get it all built then, shall we? Uh, let's go into roads. Build 18,000 rubles. Not that much. 18,000 rubles worth of roads. Uh, 99,000 rubles worth of conveyors. And then all of the buildings which need to be individually built. Right. Fingers crossed that there are no mistakes in the in the planning and the zoning. There we go. Let's watch it go. And let's watch another million rubles or so just uh, disappear. Uh, is that road or is that footpath? That looks like footpath to me. All right, 777 rubles worth of footpath as well. Can't forget that. Okay, that is looking that is looking good. That's looking pretty complete. Nice. Okay, now what we need to do as a final token is we need to get a small bus platform set up over here. We need to get a road connecting up to there. Just build that. Honestly, we can just auto build all this stuff from now on. That goes in there. That goes in there, sure. And that should be for certain the entire town uh, covered by that by that bus stop. Right. Every town apparently needs a roads vehicles depot, so this town is going to be no different. Let's also give it another road vehicles depot. I've been very sloppy with my placement of road vehicles depot to be honest. I should have um I am uh I need to I need to improve that going forward. But it's fine. It's fine. Look, okay, we've got less than 2 million rubles. Oh, oh that's that's terrifying. Unbelievably terrifying. Uh, l let me get... Let me get... This bus. I'm gonna get three of them. I feel like three is... Three is the optimum amount. Oh, no, I forgot to build that bus depot. That's fine. All right. Pick up workers only. Although, aren't we all workers in the grand scheme of things? Ain't that the truth. Okay, zone that, zone that. Zone that, zone that. Copy that, paste that. Start, start, and start. Alright, okay. So, this is how a mistake can lead to greatness. And also, we only need 30 workers from this, from this town. Which is, honestly, very, very doable. We also need a power supply, which we don't have, but is quite nearby. Probably bring it down from over there, yeah. Okay. Is this area is this area working yet? Do we have buses? Where are the buses? What? Where are the buses over here? Where are these guys going? Where are you guys going? You're going to the right place, but you're just not going to the right place. How is it quicker to go that way? What the heck is happening? Alright, uh, maybe I missed something here. Why is this why is this happening? All of my iron workers. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna let it go and just gonna let them drive around for a little bit, see what happens. 
Maybe they'll decide at some point that they want to do something useful. You never know. It could happen. Right, 31 workers. That's pretty much the entirety of what we need to make this uh, make this area operate. Okay, have has the... Yeah, the train has arrived. So, uh, instead of unloading 100% of anything, we're going to have to delete that. Stop. We're going to delete the diesel station. So, you're going to go to the... You're going to go. You're going to load up with coal. And you're immediately going to come to here. You're going to unload it, everything. Wait until 100% unloaded. Right? Also, we want to make one store iron. This one needs to store iron ore. This one needs to store iron. This one needs to store coal ore. And then this one needs to store coal. I'm just trying to do as much stuff as I possibly can all at one time. Uh, okay, so that... So you're going to come to the unloading. And then after that, you're going to go to the loading. You're going to load 100% of anything, actually. It doesn't really matter what it is. Although it really should be whatever you're bringing. So... Let's load 100% of coal. Yeah, load 100% of coal. And then... I'm going to want you to go... Over here. Unload 100% of anything. Then over there. No, except that's the wrong order. Delete that. Click on that. And then go there. Alright. That's it. That is... That is it. And now I would like you to go to... That there. Move to that stop there. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Splendid. If I do say so myself, that works perfectly. Missing power supply, missing workers, missing resources. It's it's all gonna it's all gonna get fixed relatively soon. Okay, now we just need to sort power over here and then also the input resources, all of which is going to be happening fairly soon. So the power the nearest power line is I just don't understand why the I don't understand why these buses are going all the way over here. Where are you going? Like, how can you... I don't understand where these guys are going. There's no other way to access the area. There's absolutely no other way to ir to access uh, Ironopolis bus state but bus platform. There's just no way to do it. There's just no way. All right. Well, I guess I guess we just sit back and enjoy the ride. I guess that's that's kind of fun. I guess sure. Okay. Anyway, the nearest power cable is probably over here. Sure. Let's get a power cable in place. Okay, infrastructure, high voltage, high voltage switch, there we go, let's get that over here, let's get a power transformer out, just on the outskirts of town, and put that over there, perfect. Up and running. Power supply, 100%. Is it going to work? Should work. There we go. Just like that. And now we just need to get, uh, well, two electric substations, actually. An electric substation right there. And then one for the populace over here. That's good. And then that goes like that. All right, great. Power is sorted. Now we're just waiting for coal to arrive. The coal train should be arriving fairly soon. Oh, no. Okay, why don't you go to the fuel depot? Oh, no. You ran out of fuel because you didn't, you didn't go around. Oh, no. Um... How, 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 how does this work? Okay, paste that on there. Go to 
fill it with fuel first. Right. Go there, and then I don't want to sell. I don't want to sell this train because this is a valuable, valuable train full of coal and goodness. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Don't like that. Don't like that one bit. I think we're gonna have to sell it though. All right, fine. Start. And I would like you very, very specifically to go to the diesel station first. Okay, good. I'm very irritated by that. But at least we got our we got our coal train. That's fine. It's fine, I guess. Right, most expensive train. This bad boy. Let's go cargo wagon. Bunch of hoppers. This can be... Same thing. Okay, copy, paste. Except this is going to be the uh, the iron. The iron one. So we're going to need to delete that. After the diesel station, you need to go to Ironopolis. Go to Ironopolis. Load 100% of iron ore. And then you need to load iron, processed iron, from the other station. All right, start that. And you need to wait until loaded over there. Similarly, you need to wait until loaded, wait until loaded. Yeah, at both of your wait stops. Oh, is there, there's no signal here, apparently. That's cool. That's cool. I'm fine. I'm fine with um, I'm fine with adding on the occasional extra signal. We we've literally built this uh, built this track with primarily like one train in mind. Uh, we've not actually deployed any other trains apart from this one train as of yet. It does look like it's working spectacularly though, so that is a big consolation. Looks like it's working pretty darn well. We've got 900 tons of fuel. That is far too much fuel. In fact, I would dare say that we need to get our fuel situation sorted very, very quickly. I know that I still need to sort buses over here. Uh, I am conscious of that. Okay. You're on your way to the coal area. Great. Got power. It's all sorted. Are these the buses from Ironopolis? Where are they going? Okay, I'm going to try buying a new bus over here. Right. There. To there. Just explain to me why it's not worked so far. I just don't get it. <laughs> now you work? Okay, that's great. Uh, fine. Maybe it's because we just didn't have... Maybe we just didn't have the right kit? I don't know. Okay, get five buses. Uh, sure. I need to make sure that you only pick up workers. Great. Copy. One, two, three. And then you are going to go there to there. And you're only going to pick up workers, and you're only going to drop off workers, and everyone's going to be happy. Right, so when this bus eventually comes around, uh, I highly... Uh, the, the buses uh, come around from, I don't know, the middle of nowhere. I highly suspect that... They'll just resume their route and start working as intended, but who honestly knows? It's a bit of a mystery right now. Okay, that's that there, and then that copies there. And you start, and you start. Okay, great. 
Okay, so now we should have literally every single piece of the puzzle, barring electricity to the steel mill and uh, a bus station outside the steel mill to make the steel mill actually work. Thank goodness that workers despawn, eh? Because otherwise they'd still be... They'd still be waiting. They'd still be waiting. They'd still be taking a ridiculously long bus journey. Maybe I'll be able to spot them, actually. But they don't seem like they're lost. They seem like they're... They seem like they're fine. Oh my goodness. I can't believe that this main tributary road... Actually quite important for, uh, for filling up with fuel. It looks like it's... Uh, it looks like it's completely... Completely slowed down by all of this nonsense over here. Okay, I'm gonna just delete these buses. Right, get rid of these buses, honestly. Yeah. All of the buses that previously went to Ironopolis, just ditch them. They wasted my time, they wasted my money. They didn't, actually. Yeah, I should probably make a slightly quicker route for these, uh... Primarily for the fuel, uh, for the fuel vans that need to... That need to supply the petrol stations from Potato Grad proper. Here we go. And then... Yep. Let's do as much as we can in a single stint. Not sure why that's not working, but hey-ho. There we go, and... All of that. Okay, get that all upgraded. Uh, if that's all upgraded, then it should work slightly slightly faster. Everyone should be slightly better. Slightly better place to to work. Try try going there. That that is, that's the issue that you got with the road. Okay, go there. Oh no, don't you guys run out of fuel? I made this road to help you, not to hurt you. All right, connect that up. Perfect. There's no real uh, direct route. Everyone sort of has to drive through town at the moment, but uh, we'll change that. We'll change that later. Anyway, where's our first? Where's our first coal train? Or a, our first actual coal train? Where's our coal train? Is it still in the shed? This is iron. Okay, you do need to be dispatched. That's for sure. But we should have a coal train already in action. Yet, it's not where the coal train is supposed to be. How unbelievably disconcerting. Oh no, it went to the... It went to the depot to fill up. Why, why are you not filling up at the depot? Because you're out of fuel? Hold up, what? How did this end up happening? How are you not supplied with fuel? You've got power. Are you not able to output fuel for whatever reason? Is that an input that I've that I've put it into? No, that's an input there. I'm pretty sure that I've used the outputs correctly. Uh, why has this not worked as I've wanted it? To? Oh, I see. It's because they've gone down the, they've gone down the side that doesn't have fuel on. Is that actually what's happened here? If that's what happened, then that's that's ah, frankly ridiculous. Okay. Uh. Put this in there, sure. Okay, we can still save this. We can still save this. But that's a little bit of a problem for all of the trains that have decided to go down the wrong side. Okay, that goes over there. And then that goes there. Okay, perfect. Get you to turn around and go to diesel station. Yep. Where's the other train? Where's the other train then? Is the other train gone to the diesel station? Are you full of diesel? No, you're not. 
you need to definitely go to the diesel station first. Is there like a refill command? A refuel command that I'm just missing? Don't think so. Alright, let's uh, say diesel station again. Sure. Wait, hold up. I've used this as a bypass in the wrong direction. Oh, that was stupid, wasn't it? Uh, okay. Yeah, I've got two different visions in my mind for what that bypass is supposed to do. Okay, get that built. Okay, and let's get some signals before I start going completely crazy. Okay, have you got a full tank of, uh, of gas? You don't. You don't, and it's very worrying to me how you don't have enough fuel to, to get through the day. Uh, okay. See, this is why this is why originally I wanted this bypass to go down here, and then right back around there, because it would have allowed us to fill up the, the diesel train. And if, we, if we're not able to fill up the diesel train, then the problems just start escalating. All right, have another attempt to get to the diesel station in the hope that it actually works. Let's see if this guy manages to, to fill up perfectly well or, or inadequately. There's no input connection. How, how, how is this not working? You've got power. And you don't fill up. How is this not working? You've got electricity. Your local substation is supplied, fine and dandy. Uh, but there's just no... There's just no petrol, there's just no petrol, diesel, fuel coming through. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to try something again, which I feel is very unnecessary, but I'm going to try it again just in case it makes any shriver, shriver, sliver of difference. Right, that there. Okay, that in there. And that over there. Okay, does that connect up now? It does. I don't know why that does, but it looks like it's only fuel from the... Looks like it's only fuel from the outport, uh, the output section of the... Of that area that's actually working. Okay, that's, that's really irritating. All right. This is this is ridiculous. I should I should be able to come up with a system to get from here to here that will allow that will allow filling slightly more quickly. Yeah. Okay. I need to just try and fix these other trains though. No, you need to go to the diesel station. Yeah, fill up. And you need to go to the diesel station as well. Okay, but it's working now. It's working. That's why we should have uh, diesel stations buying in resources as a sort of as a backup in the future. I don't want to set it up for this station over here because I feel that we've now sorted it and now we don't need to worry about it ever again. But it definitely should be it definitely should be a, a, a firm backup. It needs to be. There's no reason why it shouldn't be. Okay. Grand. And you're going to fill up. Oh, beautiful. You're now filled. Filled with fuel. Great. Also, we need another... We need another train. We need another train to make us... To make us more money. Uh, oil money, that is. Because we do not have enough... We do not have enough capacity on the line at the moment. There we go. There we go. 
And I'm going to buy one more train, actually. Since I can. Nope. Wrong type of vehicle. 32,000 for a tanker. I must say, that is a total ripoff, but... I'm not going to complain too much. I'm not going to complain once they've made two journeys in it. I think it pays off the all the cargo wagons and then one more journey after that. Yeah. Okay. And then you are going to be just in charge with loading only fuel. Okay, great. Okay. Two trains. I'm not terrified even slightly. Okay, yeah, but I still need to it's, this still doesn't um this still doesn't fix the problem of having having a bypass specifically for these sort of long-range trains that go all the way to the customs houses. Yeah, I think I I think I'm actually going to do this. It it seems really stupid to do. However, in saying that, I think it it actually makes it worthwhile. I think it's actually worthwhile is is what I'm trying to say. Uh just because the amount of fuel that we're saving, it will pay for itself in a little while. I don't really like crossing over tracks. In fact, that thrills me very, very little. However, I think it's necessary. Okay. So you are now on your way to the border, the customs house. That's great. It's a very, very long-range journey. A very, very long journey, in fact. But it's totally fine. Right. You're coming to get filled up with petrol or diesel, whatever. You're going to get load, loaded up, and then you're going to go and get diesel. Perfect. And then you as well. You need to set off into the into the great unknown. And then we're all fine. Okay. As soon as as soon as our two our two raw resource trains have uh, have finished up, then we're gonna be fine. Have I messed up the signaling here? What a stupid question. Of course I've messed up the signaling somewhere. But you know what? Because this because this network is a circular network, the chances of us running into anything like uh, the sorts of issues that we had in the last game almost non-existent now, actually. Why are you going so slowly? You're just... You're not going very fast at all. Hmm. It doesn't actually matter, but it's it's fine. Right. You're going to be filled up with petrol or fuel or whatever, diesel. Yeah. All right. Good. I'm not best pleased that uh, that I had to take a massive old diversion, but it's okay. Right. There we go. Go. Man, I'm so happy the fact that everything is on a circular network. It really it really has worked very, very well so far. Here's hoping that it continues to work well into the future. Alright, I just wanna see the uh I just wanna see the, the trains head off on their way to I mean yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be our first proper coal train. I wanna watch I want to watch the journey of uh, of a proper coal train, a proper coal train on its route for from Suti Tuti Town all the way through the process, the coal refining, right uh, right into the steel mill, which of course still doesn't still doesn't have any employees, but that's okay. I think that that might be an issue for the next episode. Anyway, let's watch this train.
All right, the train has arrived. The train has arrived at the uh, at the aggregate unloading station. All of the resources have been unloaded. Have they started processing? No, they have not, because we're missing the uh, the engine transfer at that side and also the engine transfer at that side. Honestly, not a problem. That's fine. There we go. Looks like it's working an absolute charm. Coal uh, is coming out the other end, which is, of course, always what you want. And if we stick it in uh, in double time speed, it looks like looks like everything will work pretty darn smoothly. I'm missing a few employees at the coal or processing plant, disappointingly. However, that should be rectified with the uh, with the next batch. And all we need to do is wait for those resources to be to be refined, and uh, and then we're pretty much we're pretty much there, to be honest. All right, good, 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 good. All of the workers, please. Seven workers. I mean, I could have could have done with a few more. When I was showing off the capabilities of coal, but that's that's fine. Yeah, so it does take a while. It does take a while, as you can as you can see. Uh, it's not going to happen overnight, although it is literally happening overnight. Also, uh, whilst we Whilst we wait around for that to happen, how is... How are things in, uh... No workers. Why have we got no workers? Where are all the workers? Where do they keep going? Where are the buses? Where did the buses go? They've not gone on a crazy trip, have they? What what is happening? They're all coming back from. Is this a bug? Is there something that's going horribly wrong? Is this not connected up for some reason? What 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 is happening? I, th I thought I'd fixed it. Right. Give me a chav for a second. Just run a simple straight bus service. Yep. Yep. That looks fine. That's That's working as intended. Great. Doesn't show you having any pathing issues. Oh, I figured it out. I figured it out. You know what it is? It's the fuel. It's the fuel. That's why they've gone off course. Oh my goodness. I'm still getting used to it. I'm still getting used to using the, the, the fuel mechanics. That's my excuse anyway. Uh, yeah. That's that makes perfect sense now actually. I feel like an idiot for not spotting it sooner. All right, can I oh, can just give me somewhere that I can put this station down here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe it. I sorted it. I sorted it though. It's it's all great. It's all grand. It's all glorious. Wait, what? And they all... Okay, so they all just have issues with fuel before they get there, I guess? Right, here they all come. Here come... Here comes the procession. The procession of... 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 Of, of vehicles that are trying to deliver to... A... Bus stop that, uh... A bus stop that is high in the mountains, but they don't have enough fuel to get there. All right. You know what? Honestly, that's on me. That is totally on me. Uh, what I'm going to do before the episode is up, purely because I want to make sure that this issue never happens again. All right. Get some cisterns. Load 100% of fuel. And then 
come all the way over to Ironopolis and drop off that fuel at the uh, at the fuel station. Wait until unloaded. Yes, please. That might not be a very good idea, but whatever. Right. Go, 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 go. One one of these days I'll figure out how to how to make fuel work and diesel work and all that nonsense. Oh, this is going to be a problem. This is going to be a problem because I don't think that we actually have any signals on our line up to the border anywhere. Yeah, can you believe that? I can actually believe that. Okay. All right, just just quickly play some signals so that we don't have uh, any delays like this in the future. I mean, I know that we will just because I'm being particularly sloppy with my with my signal placement. There we go. Okay, great. Okay, so that's that's two full trains. Two full trains of fuel uh, heading over to the border. That's quite nice. It's quite good. You're going you're going at a fair speed, my friend. I know it's uh, two times speed, but whatever. Okay, so we've got the tankers that are going to take resources over to Ironopolis now. So, I mean, I think that we should have... We should have fixed all of this... All of these issues. All right. So basically, basically the situation is, let me give you the lowdown of the situation. Next episode, we are actually going to start producing steel. Uh, we had to amend a, well, it's not a mistake necessarily, but it was a, it was an oversight. We had to amend an oversight earlier. Uh, anyway, ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. I'm sure we'll start to make steel in the next episode. And with those two slight oversights uh, fixed, we move to the future. And indeed, in the next episode, there is nothing in our way to stop us producing, quite honestly, vast quantities of steel. Um, we're gonna need to we're gonna need to make sure that everything is is completely, completely, completely good to go. But I think that apart from a power cable, um, I think. I think everything is sorted, so I think that we're going to start making a huge amount of steel, and uh, I'm hopeful that uh, that we can ship it all off to the border, at least for now, and uh, and and turn it into a into a pretty into a pretty delicious bounty, if you'd like. Anyway, we'll find out in the next episode. Thanks for watching, folks. See you then. Bye.